because are selecting their victims by the opportunity and the level of the risk factor. It's clear, the prostitute is a high-risk victim. And just to talk with her, bringing her in a dark area, this is not hard job. That's so, someone who is not the person who can talk a lot, who can lure these people from society. Typical classical type of let's attack you. Quick punch, get a control over the victim, you cut the throat and nothing else. I would say that the stress of that guy was very, very high because he made a lot of risk to act out that type of fantasy because he was not only removing the body parts, he was making symbols in the facial areas. If this is really done in nine minutes in totally darkness, then I can tell you how often he has done that in his fantasy, you know? It's, it's still there. He's doing it blind like people can typewriting without looking at the, at the machine. There's an interesting dichotomy here, isn't there? With some of these victims, we're seeing an initial kind of frenzied almost cutting and stabbing and tearing. But then at the same time, the organs that are missing have been quite carefully removed. And that, that jars with me. Now we have a crime scene location which is almost in total darkness. Dr. Calder, would you say that nine minutes was sufficient time for even a skilled surgeon to have removed those organs? I don't think so. The kidney is surrounded by perineffic fats. You have to actually literally pluck them and so it's quite an art to know how to get the planes of cleavage to get the knife in and your fingers in to get them removed. So you've got dark, you've also not got probably knowledge of doing it several times before, then it's going to be technically quite difficult. I think it's it's not in the realms of possibility that somebody can do it in in the circumstances that have been described.